guys welcome or welcome back to my channel in today's video as you can probably see by the title and the thumbnail we are going to be doing a lookbook today in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys six different outfit ideas i came up with very simplistic graduation appropriate outfits i feel like majority of these outfits would be appropriate whether you are attending a graduation or you are the graduates i feel like some of them maybe a few would lean more towards one or the other but i'll specify that as i try them on but as always you wear what you feel most comfortable in it's all up to you at the end of the day. I don't wanna to talk too much more in this intro, so before we get into it, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you wanna see more videos like this. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell so you never miss when I post a video. Make sure you add me on my other socials. They'll be on the screen, they'll be in the intro and the description, and let's get right into the video. Okay, so the first look I came up with is this one right here. This is probably by far my favorite of this whole haul. I don't want to speak too soon, but I'm pretty sure that this is my favorite. Before I move up closer, I want you guys to get a full effect of the outfit as a whole. It's pretty simplistic as most of the outfits in this lookbook are. As you guys can see, I have on this solid black mock neck type of dress. Not really so much of a mock neck, but this is the neckline is giving. When I put all the outfits together, I actually didn't have planned to wear my silver dainty necklace with this outfit, but I had it on already when I slipped the outfit on. And I'm like, it actually looks really nice. I think so. Of course, you don't have to wear neck jewelry with this if you don't want to, but I would definitely wear it like this. I think it still looks very classy, very sleek. So I have on this black fitted dress. I actually got this dress from Shein. If you've been keeping up with my hauls, y'all probably would have saw that I hauled this maybe about three or four videos ago, don't remember. But yeah, just a solid simplistic black dress. You can never go wrong with really any color solid dress for a graduation as long as it's not like too casual looking. And if it is a neutral color like this, your blacks, your whites, your nudes, your creams, those type of colors, it works even more in your favor. And I also did style the outfit with my black Teddy Blake bag, which I've also been showing you guys recently. For those of you that are interested, I will have this bag linked in the description box down below. This is the Ava Croco in the 11 inch and in the black and silver color. Not sponsored, but I just love this bag so much. And as you guys may or may not have been able to pick up on, I did style the outfit with these clear silver and black super low chunky heels. These heels are from Zara. I looked high and low for the links to these, you guys. So when you check the description box, you probably won't see these linked. I am so sorry. If one of you guys are able to find the link to them or find somebody else that has something very similar, help somebody out in the comments because I always get questions about these heels. I feature them in other lookbooks and stuff. But nonetheless, I thought these were absolutely perfect for this outfit. I feel like the short heel just adds to the overall classiness of the outfit. It's still very very simplistic but we still look very nice and very well put together and as always you can always add you more accessories more eyewear I felt like these glasses that I had on hands already were super duper they were just perfect for this outfit myself personally I would probably just throw these in my purse to have them with me just in case I feel like slipping them on real quick especially if you have your makeup done or something or if you just want to get face you can definitely go without if you'd like and I don't think you guys were really able to see but I did pair this outfit with some very simplistic silver square studs so pretty okay y'all so this fit right here another fave of mine this fit does have a little bit more to it as opposed to some of the other more simplistic three-piece four-piece looks now to start off with as you guys can see needless to say we have this very dramatic pink nude pinky nude type of jumpsuit the sleeves on it are very dramatic i did get this jumpsuit from akira yeah i really like this jumpsuit the jumpsuit pretty much speaks for itself honestly i feel like this is a piece you can pull off whether you are the graduates or just attending the graduation of course you might have well depending on how tall you are myself personally i know if i was to wear something like this to my graduation especially if i didn't have heels on it might peek through my gown maybe so that's just something to think about but who cares i mean you could take that gown off as soon as you get up off the stage now aside from the jumpsuit i did pair it with this gold asymmetrical type of rectangle top handle bag i got this bag from ego i also paired the outfit with some clear open toe heels 
these heels do have a platform on them a little bit of a platform not necessarily like a stripper heel platform but more of a platform than just your typical high heel of course a shoe like this probably wouldn't be your best fit with just any outfit but i don't know about y'all but i feel like I feel like the shoes is cute with the jumpsuit. I don't know. I think it gives it a little something. Maybe it's the similarity in color between the jumpsuit and the base of the platform. Maybe it's that. Maybe it's how it all comes together. I'm really not sure what it is. But it's something about the two together that I really like. I do still have my gold accessories for this outfit. I have my small gold hoops in as opposed to the studs. If you want to pull off studs, you could. If you wanted to do a bigger hoop than this, you could. I have a gold necklace on. Y'all, I really need to step up my gold jewelry game. I feel like my silver is pretty decent. Not the best, but it's decent. But I definitely need to step up my gold jewelry game. I need some quality gold jewelry. I also threw on this gold watch that I got in like this set. Girl, they sent me some little set with one of them little Shein packages and it had like a bunch of bracelets and anklets and it had this watch in it. Like I said, I know I need to step up my gold jewelry game and I need to give me a gold watch too, a quality gold watch. But for the sake of the look, like I said, it ain't about where it came from or how much it was. It's about the look. And y'all, just get into the jumpsuit, y'all, because it's really the jumpsuit for me. As you guys can probably see, it has this gold buckle detailing that goes across it. Of course, it's just... For fashion purposes it doesn't actually adjust or anything and of course this is what made me lean towards a gold accessories because if this wasn't here y'all know i would have threw on silver in a heartbeat okay so this look right here is another fave really like three pieces and then a bunch of accessories to it as you guys can see i have this dark brown chocolate brown mock neck type of dress that i got from shein once again if you guys have been keeping up with my recent hauls you would have saw me haul this dress it's a fitted mini type of dress. Like I said, it's this pretty chocolate brown color. This is definitely a piece that could be dressed up or dressed down. But in this case, of course, we're dressing it up a little bit. As you guys can probably see, I just paired it with these green and gold sandals that I got from Zara. They have like these chains on them in the front. And I felt like these were paired so nicely together. These two with this green and gold bag that I got from Shein like so long ago. And honestly, it wasn't until literally like five, ten minutes ago where I was just looking at the outfit as a whole and I realized that it's a little bit more matchy matchy than I even anticipated it being. As you guys can see, I have on an all brown dress. The bag is green with the gold accents. The shoe is green with the gold accents, but I didn't even realize that the base of the sandal is just about the same color as the dress. So like I said, I didn't even anticipate being that matchy matchy. It's a cute look. I would definitely wear something like this to a graduation. And as you guys can see, I did add on some extra gold accessories. I do have a simple solid gold anklet across one of my ankles. I didn't do like the layer look or anything and I didn't put it on both ankles because I just wanted to keep this as simple looking as possible and I wanted to keep my jewelry especially very minimal but still you know to where it makes enough of a statement. I also have on my chunky small gold hoops so cute and then I do have on this gold and white watch that I got from Shein. Same watch that I've been putting with a lot of these other outfits. I don't even know where I got this whole brown and green color scheme from but I'm so glad I threw it together. I feel like this came together very nicely and yeah let me know, know what you guys think of it. You can honestly pull off something like this as the graduate if you want to be like super simple but still look like you know you look nice and that you tried at least because i mean let's be real everybody doesn't want to have you know like super dramatic dresses or be like super duper dressed up or definitely don't want to be uncomfortable especially since you're going to be walking and sitting and maybe speaking if you really that girl. Then you're gonna have a big gown on and you probably gonna have a cap and if you have heels, your feet might be hurt. Well, in this outfit, you won't have no heels. You might have makeup on, it might be hot. It's a lot. We just wanna keep it simple. I get it. <laughs> but yeah, an outfit like this and maybe some of the other ones that I showed you guys earlier would be perfect for that. Okay, y'all, so the next look is this one right here. Another one of my faves. As you guys can see, I just have on this dark chocolate brown two-piece suit set. It has the flare pants with the open slit right in the front. I'm not sure if you guys are picking up on that. And it does have the matching jacket. I did grab this set from Discovery. The two were not sold together. You will have to buy both pieces separately. That works out perfectly because you will be able to switch out the sizes if need be. Underneath mine, I just paired it with this black bustier type of bodysuit that I got from Princess Polly probably like a year ago. I was originally planning on putting this like white 
lace bodysuit up underneath it, but that didn't work out. So I said it's all cool. I'm gonna just put the black, and I still think the black looks really nice. I do think white or like a cream color would have looked even better, but I don't think anything looks wrong with the black at all. I would definitely still wear it just like this. Aside from the bodysuit, I did pair this suit with some clear nude pumps. You guys probably can't see too much of it because of my pants, they are really long. And I'm so glad that they do stop at this length on me to where they're not dragging the floor, but I still do get the length that I need and that I want. I've tried these nude heels on with a lot of different things and they're just some nude pumps, it's not really hard to find a clear pump. I did once again pair this set with my silver accessories, my silver necklace from Pandora, and I do have on my silver stud square earrings. I did also pair this outfit with my Gucci bag. I think it looks so nice. I feel like the bag is such a beautiful compliment to the suit, or the suit is a compliment to the bag. I don't know, either way, they look good together. As I say all the time in my lookbooks, you can swap whatever items according to what you prefer, what you like, what you have on hand, what you're about to order, whatever works for you. I always say that, but I would like to emphasize that again. And I don't know about y'all, but if I were to pull off like a suit set like this, it would be in attendance to a graduation. I would not wear this if I was the graduate. Of course, it's up to you. That's just my preference and things like that. First of all, because me personally, I have never in any of my graduations wore heels I don't even play like that. If that's what you do, you do that, but I have never played like that. I've always paired me a cute flat sandal or a flat or something like that, which I'm gonna get into in a second. I have some other outfits with those types of shoes, but I just wanted to give y'all a few options because I know everybody's not like that. A lot of y'all are die-hard high heel wearers. <laughs> but yeah, the suit in itself, y'all, I feel like it's the suit for me. Like, and it's just so beautiful, so beautiful. I love this. It's honestly giving teacher. <laughs> it's definitely given the fancy chest school. Okay, y'all, and this is by far the most casual dress down type of fit that I have to show you guys for this lookbook. I still definitely think that this is something appropriate if you are an attendant or an attendee. What's the word? If you're attending the graduation, I feel like this is something you could pass with. Myself personally, if you want to wear something like this to your own graduation, by all means. Myself personally, I feel like this is one of the outfits that is leaning more towards I'm attending the graduation and I don't want to be super duper dressed up, but I still want to look relatively nice. So for this outfit, I started it off with this puff sleeve, quarter sleeve type of top that I got from Fashion Nova. It does have a little tight detailing on the side. I just kind of did a real loose bow. It's really not much you can do with it because it doesn't like wrap around or anything. But it is this true white color. It's not an off-white or anything. I think it looks very nice. And like I said, it has these puff sleeves, which I thought automatically would be perfect with these puff sandals I have on. I got these sandals from Ego. These are also a true white color. They're completely flat sandals. So once again, if you are not into heels or even if you're anything like me and you love to wear heels but this particular day you just don't feel like it you just don't got it in you to be strutting around in no high heels I get it you want to slip on something like this and still look cute yes this is more your speed for that type of day I did grab these solid mid-rise jeans from Zara I picked these specifically out of my closet because these had like the gold button and like the gold detailings on the side I don't know if y'all are super particular about that kind of stuff but myself personally I still just like to be super picky about that kind of stuff. And like I said, these are a pair of mid-rise jeans, so I felt like it paired perfectly with this top because this top is a little bit more on the crop side. And again, with this being a more dressed up type of event, even though this is a casual look, you still don't want to have like your stomach showing or have look like you have just like this crop top on and stuff. You don't really want to be pulling that off. In the back, it has like that scrunch type of detailing, which is also cute. And it also gives it a little bit more of like a dressed up type of look so you're not too casual. Now coming up a little bit closer so y'all can see a little bit more of like the smaller details, if you will. I paired this outfit with my red Teddy Blake bag. I got this one a few years ago. I believe this is the Kim Stampano. Don't quote me, it'll be linked in the description box down below if you guys are interested. But again, this is the red one and it has the gold detailing so perfect and i just felt like the outfit needed a pop of color it was so bland i had on these solid jeans i had on white shoes a white top of course i had my gold accessories but those are like accents so i felt like the outfit needed a little bit of color and what better color to pull off 
with this type of look other than red. As you guys can see, I have on this simple gold necklace. This actually came in a pack, a multi-pack, like some layer chains from Pretty Little Thing. I got on this Shein watch that they sent me. And I do also have in my small gold chunky hoops with this outfit. I think that is so cute, but you also could do studs if you wanted. This is what the outfit is given with gold studs on. Comment down below and let me know which look you guys are feeling a little bit more. If you were to pull off something like this, are you feeling the studs look or the hoops look like I just had? Myself personally, I'm kind of feeling the hoops look a little bit more with this outfit in particular. But let me know down below which one you guys are feeling a little bit more. And I didn't mention it, but I do have on this small gold skinny anklet from Shein. Okay y'all, so the next outfit I have is this one right here. Super duper simplistic, probably the most simplistic outfit I have. As you guys can probably see, I just have on this long goldish ochre type of color. Button down dress, it has these gold buttons on it. All of the buttons are fully functional, so you can button or unbutton as much as you like. So yeah, that's that, that's always up to you. I did pair this dress with my tan and gold Gucci sandals. When I first saw this dress, I've had this dress lingering around in my closet for a little while now. If you guys watch my Zara haul from Vlogmas, uh, you probably do remember this dress. But as soon as I saw the dress, I immediately, in my mind, saw the double G's in the same, just about the same, gold color. They are a little bit off, but either way, I think they are paired very nicely together. I would definitely wear something like this. I also think that if you are someone that heels is not your thing or you just don't feel like wearing heels this particular day, a look similar to this would serve you justice because you still get to be formal, not too formal, but you still get to be graduation appropriate. You get to still be pretty much dressed up but without having to wear heels or you know look crazy trying to pair a dress that needs heels without heels you see what I'm saying it's one of those of course I switched over to my gold jewelry I didn't do a lot of jewelry with this outfit because I didn't really feel like it needed much but I did switch out to my gold studs which I probably can't even pick up on but I did also pair this outfit with this pearl handbag I have so beautiful I think it's so classy looking and I think it goes really nicely with the rest of the outfit because the pearl color does give the outfit a little bit of contrast while still staying within, not within the color family, but you know, all the colors definitely still complement one another. Just in case you guys weren't able to tell too, too much, in between the pearls, they do have like these little gold beads that kind of keeps the whole bag together. So obviously that ties everything back together with the gold in my shoes, the gold in my dress, everything. It all looks very nicely together. Even if something like this is not necessarily your style or considering that you would be out and about, you are gonna need like a place to really put your things at and this doesn't give you as much storage. Hold on, I got you. You can always do you a cute little clear bag like this one here. Pro bag, clear bag, clear bag pro bag let me know comment down below so that is all i have for this video today you guys i hope you enjoyed it i had so much fun putting these looks together and so much fun showing you guys all these different ideas i do have many more lookbooks coming at least i plan to if that's what you guys want to see more of if you want to see more lookbooks please make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below that you want to see more if you haven't already hit that subscribe button and the bell make sure you do that so you never miss when i post a video once again make sure you add me on my other socials they'll be back on the screen the intro in the description Thank you guys once again for watching and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye y'all.